Hey baby, jumping right into the video. I am working with a very new company this time, which is kind of different because y'all know, typically I stick with the typical, okay? But I've actually been eyeing gorgeous hair for quite some time on TikTok. So of course, if you are not already following me there, now is a good time to go ahead and do so. And as you guys can see, they do have a few goodies inside of the packaging. And y'all know, I am a stickler for packaging. So I was really excited about just the way that everything came. It was obviously nice and neat. Here's a quick look at the Yaki Straight bang wig with a true scalp so of course these knots are definitely pre-bleached for you there is no plucking involved you guys can see the versatility of the cap there's literally nothing you have to do except slide the combs in of course you don't even have to adjust the elastic band to be honest <laughs> i literally kept this as it was it already came pre-cut uh, for you there wasn't anything additional to kind of trim off there and then of course it's like in a style of like a bob so or like a long bob I should say so you guys will notice that it is already kind of pre-cut into a style typically when I wear bobs I like for them to sit a little bit above my shoulders but I wanted to give this a chance so you guys will kind of get to see how it looks fresh out of the box putting it right on my head now y'all know my rule when you get a unit out of the box or straight out of the packaging you always want to make sure that you wash and condition it y'all i have not been doing that just because i want to make sure that the items that i'm bringing to you to kind of show you what it looks like at first glance are items that you are going to be happy with when you get it as well so all that i'm going to do from this point is pretty much just add a little bit of body to it i want us to see how it curls this is like that yakky texture so y'all know it typically mimics or is supposed to mimic uh, african-american like straightened maybe even processed hair uh for me i won't say that this necessarily match my exact texture it did provide the fullness and the thickness and the luster that I like from lacky yakky hair so it wasn't like you know sometimes you'll get those weird crinkles in it and it's just hard to get out this was definitely a smooth process so they did a really really good job of mimicking that yakky look without it being too silky or just so far gone that it's like whose texture is this okay <laughs> and keep in mind they have a variety of different wigs uh, available on their site as well if there are any coupon codes those will be listed down in my description box below so definitely make sure that you check that out and then you guys can see i'm just kind of lightly bumping the bangs if you go overboard we will know okay sometimes you definitely can go a little bit heavy-handed when it comes to kind of curling those bangs so i recommend just using a light hand and you guys can see just how precise the cut was now i would will say whenever you go to adjust your actual cap sometimes that will affect the way that the cut sits on your head so always recommend if you are going to be wearing the cap um, and you want kind of this pre-cut style definitely have it on that first like loops the way that it comes fresh out of the box if for any reason you need to tighten it just know that that cut may start to look a little bit off and you may need to just retrim that on a mannequin head if that's something you guys need to see let me know um, and I can do a specific video for that but in my case you guys the wig fit really really snug I didn't even put the combs in like <laughs> I don't know if I kept the clip in here where I'm like shaking my head all over the place but literally the wig was going nowhere so if you're one of those girls that like to go outside with the bonnet stop doing it okay here is a good wig that you guys can kind of literally throw on and go I don't even have my hair corn rolled at all literally all that it is my hair is like pulled back into this low little pony okay not even a ponytail but I did a little braid flipped it up put the wig cap on and we are good I know you guys have been asking me about tools the flat iron that I've been using in most of my videos has been been the EAP heat one and a half inch flat iron or actually I think this is a one inch if I'm not mistaken um, and then of course y'all know I always use a hot comb just to kind of help lay down the wigs even when there is no lace because you'd be surprised at the little hairs that are just kind of sitting up at the base of your hair and obviously if you do braid your hair down or if your hair is like so much thicker than mine and you can't get away with just sleeking it back and flipping it up you definitely want to make sure that your braids in the foundation is as flawless as possible just so that your wig is not like bulky right you don't want to have a wig cap looking like a okay anywho i have a video <laughs> on my channel for uh like a beginner braiding tutorial it's just some cornrows but if you need that step by step definitely check it out so this is a quick look at how everything pretty much sits once i pretty much bumps everything out you guys will see i'm just going over a couple pieces more than others and if you are not one of those people that have like good hand eye coordination you can always just get you a quick little mannequin head um definitely check out my amazon store because i'm sure i have one there if i don't i'll add it tonight before this video 
video goes up. <laughs> um, just in case you guys do need that actual wig cap and stand so that you can comfortably curl your wigs and you're not having to like do the guesswork, right? But um, let me know what y'all think about this because I feel like this was a really good straight to the point tutorial. I did not speed this up. I did slow down some parts and you guys can see just how short this video is. So I didn't want to leave you here, right? I definitely wanted to kind of take this up a notch. So what I did was add a couple of little like wavy curls to the unit. You guys will see I'm literally leaving out that very tip of the hair. So the very ends, I kind of wanted that wispy undone look. I did not want this to be super perfect, super curled, giving like granny vibes, right? I wanted to kind of do some like 70s, 80s hair with the, you know, the nice little, the lice, the nice little fringe bang, uh, but just kind of like loose hair. You guys will kind of catch the vibes. If you guys are subscribed and you have had a chance to see my other video where I kind of trimmed some fringe bangs, this was very similar to that. So if you were not really good at, um, you know, trimming, cutting, you don't trust yourself with the scissors, I feel you, okay? Definitely make sure that you check out this wig uh, because for me, the price point was on point. Now, y'all have y'all reasons as to why y'all don't do certain things, but consider the fact that these wigs last you years. When I say years, I'm not playing with you. With the proper maintenance, it's gonna last. And the best thing is because you aren't dealing with like a closure or a frontal, you aren't having to worry about like that lace starting to really just fray up and get kind of weird or any of the lace kind of balding. All that you have at the top is of course that true scalp lace hd all that good stuff um and i'm loving that because that just makes it super easy whether or not you have a wig cap underneath this actual wig or not it's still gonna be nice and playful and of course look very natural and realistic so i was excited to be working with this company uh definitely let me know what you guys think about this down below all that i'm doing from here is just adding my final touches you guys will kind of see him like playing with the hair doing a little bit of this a little bit of that i did notice that i wouldn't be able to like put this up or do any like clip styles just because of course the perimeter is not left out but yeah this is a good pick me up and go so y'all know I had to throw on some earrings okay it would not be a vibe if I did not do that so <laughs> anywho I love you guys so much stay pretty and I will see you in my next video bye babies yeah.